Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Okay, five of Meghan Markle's besties uh, have come out to defend Meghan. Uh, and I believe that this is happening on Good Morning America and People Magazine. Now, I know that these are not the five ladies. Uh, she is amazingly beautiful, this ginger on the left here. Uh, but anyway, these are ladies from this show, Suits, and this is a picture after, after the wedding. Um, so the, this news is so fresh, so hot, so fresh that uh, I actually can't find uh, the picture of these five ladies yet. So let's read a little bit. Meghan Markle's best friends break their silence. We want to speak the truth, they say. Uh, Meghan Markle's close friends are opening up for the first time about the woman they know and love. After maintaining their silence for nearly two years, five women who form an essential part of Meghan's inner circle have spoken with People, People magazine, quote, to stand up against the global bullying we are seeing and speaking and speak the truth about our friend, unquote, says a longtime friend and former co-star. Okay, it might have been, some of these ladies might have actually been involved in this. Meg has silently sat back and endured the lies and untruths, unquote, her former co-star says in this week's cover story. So this is People magazine. With Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, expecting their first child this spring, quote, we worry about what this is doing to her and the baby, unquote, adds the co-star. Quote, it is wrong to put anyone under this level of emotional trauma, let alone when they're pregnant. Okay. In candid interviews, okay, this is why I can't find um, the pictures. They requested anonymity to protect the private relationships they hold dear, to set the record straight on everything from Megan's relationship with her dad to an up-close view of her wedding to the reality of her day-to-day -day life. Okay, we've all been to their cottage, says a close confidant. It's small and she made it cozy, but the perception of their lifestyle and the reality are two different things. Meg cooks for herself and Harry every single day. Wow, I really doubt that. Okay, because they have chefs. Uh, for the staff, they have this extensive staff and there's all these royals. A friend from L.A. recalls visiting the cottage, sharing. We had a couple days together recently. Her husband was out of town on work. In a room she made up for me, there was a candle lit by the bed, slippers, and a robe. We were the only two in the house. It was our time. She made the most lovely meals. She made tea every day. It was raining and muddy outside, so the dogs got all dirty. She's wiping them off with towels. Tense change there. How how much she loves her animals, how much she loves her friends, how much she loves feeding you, taking care of you. None of that has changed, unquote. Okay, Megan has been the, okay. Okay, some, some various myths, mistruths. Megan's relationship with her dad, Thomas Markle, and half-sister. They have been made to appear as siblings who had this falling out. Obviously, there's strife there. And that's not truth at all, a longtime friend says. Uh, they were not part of her life. So they're saying no falling out. They were not part of her life. As for Megan's father, who has said he can't reach Megan, quote, he knows how to get in touch with her, adds the friend. He's never called. He's never texted. It's super painful. Okay, and on this point, Megan wrote a letter to him, allegedly, and I, I, I'm going to find this letter if I can. Megan said... I'm so heartbroken after I love you to her father. Please stop victimizing me through all through the media so we can repair our relationship. Thomas allegedly responded by demanding a photo op. We're going to examine all of this today. Because these are bombs. Um, okay. So, two different... Pictures of Megan are very clearly being painted here. 
one picture is Megan is this very warm, very loving, uh, very hospitable person. Okay, and the other is, uh, you know, Megan is this very cold, very calculating, uh, narcissistic person. And so we want to just look at this and find out. Okay, first, there's the big bana banana, bananarama debate debacle in Bristol with the sex workers. Okay, she wrote on bananas. This is going around and around, and this has really turned into quite a big deal. Um, what is Megan's stress level? Okay, and this, these friends who went to People magazine anonymously, um, I think this is in response to the latest thing, which is the banana deba debacle. Okay, so what is Megan's stress level right now? You know, what is her stress level? Okay, and if she was pregnant, which I don't believe she is, okay, and now there's the baby kick heard around the world, so we'll cover that in another one. Uh, what is her stress level right now? How is how's Megan doing right now? Mustard seed, four clubs, Trinity. Wow. Megan is a strong woman. Okay, what is Megan's stress level? Mustard seed, four leaf clover, trinity, magi. She is not alone. She is not alone. They are a corporation. The royals are a corporation. She is not alone. Uh, four leaf clover is very active. Mustard seed. Messages, letters. This adds eight. Two spades. That's a negative. Okay, she is feeling... Two spades is broken chalice. She just wants to get away from it. Uh, from from the constant news stream. Uh, and recover a bit. But she is the Magi. She's the Magi. Again, she showed in another reading as the Magi. Here she's showing as the Magi. I can't stop looking at this woman. She is gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so Megan is showing as the Magi. She's in control. She's not falling apart here. She's not falling apart. Okay, is the Queen considering sidelining Megan, benching her for the season? Okay, after the banana debacle. Debacle. Okay, until the baby comes. Because it's very easy for the Queen to say, well, you know, Megan is pregnant. And, you know, it's, it's becoming a difficult pregnancy. We all see how large she is. And then the baby's kicking. Uh, you know, the kick hurt around the world. Uh, maybe we should just... She's going to... We're just going to suspend her public appearances uh, for a time. And that would give them six or seven months to uh, get some good press, to keep Megan negative, uh, you know, Duchess difficult out of the news and kind of get... Get, get a much better news stream going. Okay, is the Queen considering sidelining or benching Meghan until, until the baby comes? Whether via surrogacy or her. I believe it's via surrogacy. Is she considering benching Meghan? Ten clubs, water into wine, cornerstone, lovers. Lovers is the very close relationship. Twelve and ten, twenty-two, six diamonds, hand in hand, traveling. Um, water into wine is the birth card. Okay, this is a birth card. Um, cornerstone, birth of the baby over a long period, the lovers. Okay, Megan is with child. This could be lovers. 12, 22, 6 diamonds. Um, is she considering benching Megan for a time? You know, just get her out of the news stream uh, and kind of clean things up. Doesn't look like it. It really does not look like it. Okay, Hamster Wheel is doing the same thing every day. And it's also the long... The long distance travel card. Uh, doing the same thing every day. Solid cornerstone. Uh, turn it around. 
and and get the get the people to love her. No, the plan actually is not to withdraw Megan at this point, but to keep going, keep going, you know, keep making news and start making more positive news. Okay. Uh, they made allegations about, against Thomas, okay, that these friends, these five friends made allegations against Thomas Markle that he just doesn't care, okay, and that he never tried to contact her. Okay, what does her father, Thomas Markle, want? Okay, they also said that she wasn't raised uh, in the household with Thomas Markle, and other people say that she, from the age of 12 through high school, she was raised by Thomas Markle, which would give her a long and enduring and very close relationships with her half-brothers and sisters. And she went every day after school, after uh, Thomas and the wife uh, were divorced, Megan spent her afternoons on the set of Married with Children, being minded by her father, seeing her father at work, you know, and he's a, an award-winning set uh, lighting designer. So, what does Thomas Markle want? Okay, what are his motives? Is it fame and money, or does he just want a relationship with his daughter and his grandbabies? What does Thomas Markle want? Fox, coffin, Jacob's ladder. Okay, what does Thomas want? Fox is clever. Step-by-step, uh, step, rising to the top. Nine and 12, 21, six hearts, karmic relationship. He's reacting to circumstances. Four spades has been showing up in a lot of readings recently. Okay, and four spades is kind of like keeping your feelings inside, keeping it really inside. Okay, Six Hearts is the family relationship. He's very interested in the family relationship. Okay, and he wants to interact with the family on an ongoing basis. Okay, but there, it's both. Okay, he is a fox and he does have secret motives. Okay, so it's a little of both. Uh, he does want the money and the fame, but he also wants the uh, relationship with Megan and the grandbabies. Okay, it's a little of both. That's disturbing uh, to see that he's very interested in the fame. But he's from the Hollyweird side, so... Okay, so they said, they made an allegation that Thomas never called. This is yes, that's no. This is yes, that's no. Did Thomas... Uh, try to contact Megan, and it's all just a lie. Yes, Thomas has been trying to contact Megan, or no, it's just a lie. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son. Yes, he's trying to contact Megan, or no, it's a lie. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and forevermore shall be, world without end. Is that a yes, or is that a... Well, that's going to end up being a yes, because it's pointing to the yes side. Is that a yes? That's a nice, clear yes. Okay. So, I asked, did Thomas call or text? Yes. Thomas has been calling. Okay, so, so that means Megan is ducking his calls. She's avoiding him. Okay, and the key question here, is Megan a warm and caring and supportive and compassionate person as her friends are portraying her to be? Okay, and these ladies actually may have been some of the five ladies who went to People Magazine. They're remaining anonymous, and now I understand why I can't find the pictures of these ladies, because they're remaining anonymous. And they don't want any kind of, it's complete lack of agency. They don't want anybody to question anything they're saying. And if they remain anonymous, it's like impossible to question anything because this fell out. 
Okay, so, so is Megan a warm, caring, supportive, and compassionate person, as they say, or is she a cold, calculating narcissist, as others are saying? We have, everything's fallen out of the deck right now. Warm, caring, and compassionate, or a cold, calculating narcissist? Six diamonds. High tower. Oh. Oh, my. Okay, and then we have the two fallouts. Look at that. What an interesting answer. Okay, so we're getting two stories here. Warm and caring. The friends, the anonymous friends are saying warm and caring. And other people are saying cold and calculating. Okay, and she's just a social climber. Okay, so what do we got? Hand in hand, high tower, earthquake. 19 and 6 is 25. Seven hearts, which is Star of Bethlehem. Okay, Star of Bethlehem is a direction. It's the future. This is her path. Uh, hand in hand is all the people. I'm asking, is she cold and calculating or warm and compassionate? These are very cold and calculating. Cold. The high tower is very cold. You, she's at the high tower. Everyone else, all the little people are beneath her. Very cold and calculating. And really reaching for the top. And she will, she will destroy anyone in her way. Okay? The ten spades. She'll destroy anyone. Okay, in order seven hearts to get to the top. So very cold and calculating. Okay, and she'll, she'll do scourge. Three spades is keep hitting it, keep working it. Like it's exercise. It's, you know, showing up every day, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. She's going to do whatever it takes to get to the top. And she will destroy anyone in her way. She will... Use a person and discard them. So very cold and calculating. The two fallouts are heart and butterfly. Butterfly is fame. Butterfly is the public eye. Very beautiful. She presents a very beautiful image. Uh, very beautiful. Very beautiful face. Very beautiful hair. Very nice shape. Uh, she wants people to love her. And she wants to be beautiful. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so Megan is a cold and calculating narcissistic person. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so it's not as the friends are saying. Okay, does Megan love animals? Because she had two, she has two rescue dogs. Uh, one, I, I did a reading on this with the PETA, and I show that dog as being put down. Okay, she just left it in America. We're actually not sure what happened to the other dog. And we've seen maybe like a body double uh, of this other smaller dog. I, it's like a little dog, like a Jack Russell or something. Don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly positive what dog is her second dog. Uh, but I think like a body double has shown up and people are like, that's not the same dog. You know, that doesn't look like that. That's the same breed. But that's not the same dog. You know, so does Megan love animals? Okay, here's a person. She's a vegan during the week and she murders on the weekends. Okay, if you're a vegan, you know, be a vegan. Okay, I, I'm against that meat is murder stuff. But, you know, whatever your diet is, if that's a diet, okay, but that's not how it's being characterized. If it's a diet for health, hey, great. Okay, eat whatever you want. Okay, it's your diet. Okay, but if meat is murder, that's not a diet. That's, uh, that's a religion. And you can't have it both ways. Okay, so do, is Megan someone who loves animals? Does she love animals? Love animals? Or is it just virtue signaling? Wow. All right, my battery went out. So, is Megan someone who loves animals... Or she's just virtue signaling. 
there are n there's no hearts here. This is not a loving spread. Uh, King of Spades, wow, cuts the head off. Veil, uh, this is just a decision to chain to. Uh, her feelings are just hidden. Okay, and this adds five spades. Roadblock. She has no feelings for these animals. Wow. Cold and calculating. Very calculating. Extremely. So, Olive Tree is a family card. So, she just made this change to appear to be this warm and loving kind of person. Wow. Okay, that's really... Uh, disturbing and disappointing so she's actually showing is very cold and calculating here especially with the animals uh, and this the king of spades may be another indication that she had the dogs just put down they're just gone she used them up and didn't need them anymore and so now they're just dead okay so what's Megan's stress level uh, after all of the recent debacles in particular the uh, the the writing on the uh, writing on the the banana writing. Okay, she is still she's still completely in control. I'm sorry, I feel flustered right now. Uh, she's still completely in control. She's consulting with others. She's taking it one step at a time. She's fine. Two spades. She doesn't like it. Okay, but she is, she's the Magi. She keeps showing up as the Magi. She's a very strong, very intelligent woman. Okay, is the, is the queen considering benching Megan? You know, she's pregnant. We can just put her out and keep her out of the public eye and let things kind of simmer down. Nope. Same day, same thing every day. Keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. You're going to, you're going to turn it around and you're going to get in there. You're going to get really close. You're going to get all up in there with the people. Six diamonds. You're going to get up all up in there. And they're going to love you, Megan. Uh, so they're not pulling her out at all. Okay, what does Thomas want out of this relationship? Okay, is he... What does he want? You know, does he want fame and money? Or does he want a relationship with his daughter and his grandbabies? He's a mixed bag, which is very disappointing. He's a bit... It, you know, if she's so calculating and narcissistic, where did she learn it? Maybe she learned it a bit. She had to learn it from, from her father and her mother. He's half and half. He's half and half. He just, he does want to be part of the relationship, but he has hidden motives. And he's showing as a fox. He's half and half. He's a little bit better than Megan, maybe, but not so much. Okay, and then I asked, okay... These friends, these anonymous friends made the allegation. He never called. He never texted. I did the sticks. Yes, he did. She dumped him. She dumped her own father, and she's not talking to him. Okay, is, is Megan a warm and caring individual, or is she a cold and calculating individual? She's very cold and calculating. She'll cut you off. She'll, she stands up here on the top of the tower, and she'll, she'll grind you up in the grist mill to get where she's going. She's going to do whatever it takes to be, you know, famous and beloved. Famous and beloved. She's, and that's an interesting combination. Very cold-hearted, very calculating, but wants to be famous and loved. Maybe that's not that unusual in Hollywood. Okay, and here, finally, and here's another indicator. Does Megan love her animals? Okay, and... Both of them may have gone missing. Definitely one disappeared and I think is dead. Uh, and probably both of them. So here's how she feels about the animals. She's this warm and caring person and she cooks and very hospitable. And that's a, you know, it's, you know, it's one or the other or something in between. Thomas is maybe mixed bag. Uh, I still think she should meet with him either way. Because it just, it's just good for her. If she's this cold, calculating person, then meet with your father. Everybody's going to like it. It's good press. Uh, she has no love for these animals at all. It was just, I think I'm going to get some animals and change the perception of the world. And her true feelings, it's... she's Veil comes from behind the veil. This can be a manifestation card. The executioner is manifesting. This can be... 
there's no love here for these animals at all. They're family members, but there's no love at all showing here. None. And five spades, the feelings are blocked. It's like she has no feelings for them at all. Uh, I'm most disturbed with the animals because it's very easy to love animals because they're just such beautiful souls. Uh, but she has no feelings for the animals, which is so disappointing. So cold and calculating and no feeling for the animals. And she's holding it together. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment.